Um, talk gear really quick. I do. I'm torn between six way with ZCB and just um, Tebow with pegs and assembler because this is only two percent worse than ZCB. Just autoing next at full range pot, and it's really good for minions and reavers. But bringing ZCB is really good for potting down. So it's like I don't know. They're both solid. I'm bringing Buckler. I think either way you go, it's going to be very, very close. I, it's arguable. Um, Void Waker's a better spec than ZCB. Uh, we bring full Torva because it actually reduces a lot of damage. You end up using about the same supplies. You drop two brews, but you take way less damage. So This lets you enables you to melee on P2, and melee on P2 speeds it up dramatically. So Torva's actually really, really good here, just for the defense. Uh, yeah, I bring four restore because I have GM, which means I save like a dose of restore. You can get, a, you can get by with four restore. That's enough. Uh, I'll probably take five or six if you're learning. Uh, and then I take seven brew. Just drop buckler and bring like eight, probably if you're learning too. Oh, yeah. Okay. IMG. Okay. Uh, we've been starting with a ZCB spec because it just kind of works out, lets you um, Void Waker typically on P2. It just works out spec energy wise. Before we were doing one Void Waker spec, and that tends to have you at 100 and kind of sitting on it. So, do you like Next Mass? No, Next Masses are really bad. Yeah, we just calc to Duo GP an hour yesterday. It's like. Between 18 and 20 mil GP an hour. So it's pretty good. We take it. How do you fix the boost assess on stacking vertically above the inventory? You can drag me around with ult however you want. Right, so the biggest thing with Nex uh, for Duo is learning to 5 tick properly like this. So that her normal attack uh, timer is four tick. Your attack timer is five tick. So you're just forcing her to attack at five ticks instead of four without losing any DPS. And that means you take way, way less damage. Try to print melee whenever she's attacking you. She typically swaps every two attacks, but she can t pick the same person twice in a row. So you want to print melee, and now I'm going to go back to mage because she's hit me twice. Probably go back to doubles. She's picked me twice. And she'll go back to doubles after this. Or not. She can pick you multiple times in a row. You're just kind of banking on averages. Okay, we do a reset. So I have a bunch of red tiles everywhere that are reset tiles. These are just easy to reset from. So what you do is you wait for her to run past the lip when you want to reset her. And then just go in. Getting resets down is probably the next most important thing. Because if you fail resets, you're going to die in P2. She will lawnmower you, and you will die, and it will be over. Okay. Yep, perfect. Okay, so she's going to be chasing me. I'm just going to stand under. You can do a tick walk, so you just are going to get ready with your mouse, and just click under the center of her tile every tick, just like that. She stalled the tick because she reset, and now she's going to do Fear the Shadow. If she did her dash last, she always does Fear the Shadow. If she got a virus off, she's going to do Embrace Darkness, and you don't want to go in. You can't really melee her doing Embrace Darkness without some cheese. You can also pray melee and then range between attacks. And you can actually... Because the range attack calculates a tick later for some reason, you can actually get melee prey off. When it does Embrace, just leave. And ZCB. I want to get that brew. If she's really healthy, you could go back in right now with melee, but we're close. Okay, I'm Umber Tank, so I'm going to head over here. Around 2100, you want to head over here. Nah, failure. That's unlucky. 
Hopefully the other person knows tick resets and you can fix it. Sometimes she just dashes at you as you're running over. It's unlucky. Why did she drag? What? Okay, weird. <laughs> Umber tank is going to stand on either of these red tiles. And doubles is going to st typically stand on the start tile, but she's pulled up a tile, so doubles is forward a bit. Oops. Got my lady. You can still fix it. This is unique. <laughs> ah, that works. Okay, she's on me again. You know, they could fix this by just making Thrall Sender. Nah, fuck us. Things on P2 can go wrong very quickly if you're not careful with who's tanking. You just want to make sure you're praying mage here if you're forced to tank ranged autos because Umbra's a lot more dangerous. Okay, come in. Dump both the specs. Wear your pants when you do it. I've heard of people leaving the Reavers up. Don't do that. They heal every time they hit you. You don't want them to do that. Kill them fast. You can also death charge. Oops, that's fine. The only time you leave them up is when you're killing Kruor, because if you kill Kruor, it won't heal her. Also, when they die, they just heal her 150 health. Yep, they heal whatever their remaining health was times three, I think. Anytime on uh, Blood Phase, you want to try and hit Alter to get spec back. That's really the only reason. The health and prayer is nice, but it always gets spec back. About to send. There go. So now on Kruor, we're just going to reset repeatedly. So you, you go to this red tile, it always drags her this direction. Because NPCs like to move east-west first. Okay, weird. And then you just both of you repeatedly reset between Tebow shots. The shot, come back in. Okay, she's in melee mode, some doubles, stand here. So what you can do when the other person's really far away is just stand right here. When she resets, she's going to attack me because I'm further away, and then I drag her up. So you just keep doing this repeatedly. This stalls out her attacks and prevents the Reaver from getting, um, healing her. And also it prevents damage to you, so that's the benefit. Yeah, she attacked us, like, I think at most once there. Yep. It was just, like, on the it, reset. It stalls so much damage to keep doing that repeatedly. It's super important. Make sure you don't pray melee on this phase. I can't sometimes do that by accident. Oops. Uh, cool. Ideally, for ice phase, you want to try to heal enough when you're ranging and contain this that you don't need to heal again until the next contain this. Because as long as you're ZCBing, that's when you want to be brewing because it's efficient to not lose DPS. Because ZCB doesn't lose that much deep DPS when you are shooting with it. Even if you're camping Tebow, you still want to be brewing when you're Tebowing because that's your worst DPS. That's when you're doing the least. So that's the ideal time to brew always when you're ranging. And once again, we're going to do the same thing as Blood Phase. What was it, Contain? Yes. You want to be careful of when it's Contain and get out of range here. Because then she's not hitting you at all. And then she's going to dash up and you can reset. She's on doubles. So I'm going to get out of the way so he doesn't get frozen. He'll reset. I will drag. Repeat. Be careful, old Prison. You want to be close enough that you can get each other if you get frozen. That is just unlucky. Oh god. Make sure you don't stack on top of each other either. That happens. <laughs> and here you want to try and use your Void Wakers. I'm going to pray melee so I can take eat. Yep, that was the play. If you're below 30 health... You're safe from melee attacks if you're praying melee. They max 15, and you can tick eat the mage hits. So that was safe there, not chancing. And again, it's just always be brewing when you're ranging and try to get to that point without needing to brew again while meleeing. 
Primarily when she's on you. I like to death charge because next does give death charge and you're going to want that spec for next kill. Switch to range. Brew. Yep. I'm like almost full health. Perfect. Take some damage here. Sometimes you're unlucky and you have to brew while meleeing. It happens, but goal is not do it at all, if possible. Sometimes she just mages you repeatedly and you take 30s. I mean, there's nothing you can do. It's right around 300. You're going to start T-bowing instead of ZCB. We're going to switch to T-bow. I can drop a ZCB as well. Or drop a Void Waker. The switches are tough. That's, that's really the tough thing with Duo Next is... Getting your switches down and being quick about them. It just takes practice. Not much to it. Oh? Mr. Nice. Dunn. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> oh? There's money here? I like that. Wait, what? Huh? Okay. <laughs> that was like a 300 dry streak. <laughs> That's Holy cool. Holy, imagine. Okay. <laughs> and the teaching stream, too. Okay. Teach more, I guess. That was, that was pretty textbook. Apart from, like, P2. Yeah. I mean, it was a little shaky. That's okay, though. 